spies maneuvering enables small units to insert and exfiltrate into position where landing zones aren't available. After the helicopter arrives on the scene, it takes no more than three minutes for a team to lift out of the area. Specialist Denny Langford tells us why he doesn't worry when he's 200 feet above the ground. Well, of course, you have to have a lot of confidence and confidence in your equipment. Once you get up there, though, you realize that your equipment's going to hold and you're, you're pretty well safe. The 120-foot spies rope is capable of holding 10,000 pounds and is designed for personnel and their equipment only. Spies is replacing other more complicated systems. Older systems use complex knots and ropes. With spies, simply hook your harness and your safety line and you're on your way. Sergeant Andrew Cal is from Bravo Company, 1st of the 503rd Infantry. He describes his first spies training. It's a rush. It, it was, uh, the weather was, was pretty cold and pretty wet, and as the raindrops were hitting you, you could feel it, but it was a rush. You're, pre you're basically buckled in for the ride, so uh, you just sit and enjoy it. You just have to make sure you keep your hands out and stabilize yourself, prevent uh, the ropes from oscillating. But uh, it was a rush. It was a really good time. Spies is another advancement for warriors of the 2nd Infantry Division to remain combat ready. From Camp Casey, Specialist John Shimas, 2nd Infantry Division Public Affairs Office for AFKN News.